Hello friends, today we will learn about floating point math instruction in home run PLC. Here I have device name, suppose I am giving a floating math instruction. Okay, and CJ121 PLC and model is CPU11. Okay, and setting going setting and frame level is 1004 okay and comment whatever you want to give okay why again click it and just it here okay it should not contain the space i think again giving i hope it will take it this time okay file is new here i will take uh, no and give it permanent on instruction cf113 okay and again take uh, no and giving address 0 0.00 and giving on bit format okay now go to out and going out and select the instruction and I will put it here. So here I will select floating point math instruction. Floating point math instruction. So I need to select plus F now. Suppose I am taking D0, it is double word, so I need to take D2. And suppose I am saving result in D4. Okay. Now click OK. 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 I am selecting it. You will give comment to it. First number. Second number. And result okay this will do the addition now we will go to compile okay compile showing there is no any error now go to works online simulator okay Okay, it's simulating and downloading. Where there is no problem, you can see it. Now, suppose I am giving value here D0, giving value 1.2. Okay, and the D2 value is 0, and D4 value should be 1.2. But why is 1.02? Here I need to on the this bit force on or set on whatever you want to do so you can see the result is 1.2 now suppose i am adding the value 2.0 here the result will be 3.0 this is the floating point add now we will go to floating point subtraction i am giving control e and yeah, taking the Another instruction giving an instruction giving a minus okay minus floating point f first number d10 no okay okay d10 okay second one will be d10 and third one will be d20 data register okay Okay, I need to send the changes. Shift Control Shift E. I am sending the changing. Now you can see that D10 value is zero. Suppose I am putting 2.1 in D10. Okay, so 2.1 minus zero is will be 2.1. Now I am going 0.5. So it will be 1.6. 
now again control e and we will go to multi ply floating point multiply so i am giving instruction okay okay floating point i am giving b b b50 b60 or whatever we want to give we have no problem b70 okay now I need to send the changes. I am sending the changes. Okay, suppose I am putting value 0.5 in D1, and so D70 will be zeros. Now we need to add one. Suppose adding one, and it will be 0.5. Suppose I am adding 1.2. Yeah, you can see it. Sorry for you can 0.6 it we have come. Suppose I am adding 5 here, you can see it, it will go to 2.5. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. And you can go to project pool here. Okay, first is floating point add, another is floating point subtract, third one is floating point multiply. Like this, you can do the floating point derivative also if you want anything else you can message me thanks for watching have a good day